many residents throughout the capital have been eagerly awaiting the reopening of barber shops and beauty salons come next week. Well, a few proprietors spoke with our Amajal Knowles as they prepared their stores for opening day. Monday will mark the start of business reopening for dozens of barber and beauty salons in the country after being closed for months due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Gents can get that desperately needed lineup and women that hairstyle they long desired, but not before beauticians and barbers alike completed special online courses provided by the Ministry of Health to prepare them for this new work environment post-COVID-19. Our news team caught up with Barbara Ripton Reed and beautician Arlene Ramming on their learning experience. The course was very it was really interesting, but it was manageable in terms of it teach you more about the virus. So I was able to understand more about it and how to prevent the spread from me to my customer or from customer to customer. This course is a certification that you have to complete um, for health and safety measurements in the salon. It was just um, quick videos of they're showing you what you should do to your patrons and um, the way things are supposed to set up on your sanitization and sterilization of your uh, utensils. For Reed, as well as the owner of the hair and beauty empire, Crystal Maycock, they said they are putting in new sanitizing protocols as instructed by the government to ensure as safe of an environment as possible. This is a new, um, this would be not so strange to us. Only thing different now, the customer after wash their hands or sanitize their hands on their shoes and we got to do appointments. So that's the only difference. Plus we got to do the general cleaning as um, illustrated by the tests every two weeks. Things we've implemented, um, as soon as you enter the door, you get an inferred thermal reading. Um, and then when you enter, you have to sanitize your hands. So we ask in patient, we ask in clients that they be patient with us as we continue this new norm. We've sanitized the whole salon, prepared everything in place for each client, and we have to put up a flexi glass in order to cater to our clients. While not seeing clients for months, both Reed and Maycock said they have kept in close contact with regular patrons and ensure them that come Monday, they will be ready to go. In terms of trying to keep in touch with your customer, reassuring them that things will soon get back to normal, and. Just basically keeping them, keep in touch with them and, you know, keeping them uh, faithful that soon we'll be back up and running. And I can tell you our clients and technicians are excited to come back on board. It's been three months now that we've been in quarantine and so this reopening is really necessary right now because we couldn't do anything. And it was a difficult time, but thanks to God he brought us through. And we are able now to get everything in place to make sure that and to ensure that our clients are safe. And that's our priority. For ZNS Network News, I'm Amajal Noel.